Hi everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com. Today I'm going to take you through as I set up a big flower garden bed. I know that when the warm days come around, I'm really going to want this garden bed right here next to our door so I can come out and pick flowers or vegetables and things just grow so much better when they're in a raised bed in our area because we have so many slugs and I just don't take the measures to protect the garden like I could, I guess. I don't lay down any protective fabrics and I don't have a greenhouse. I just like to put seeds in the dirt and it just doesn't work that often because we have so many things that eat the plants. So raised beds is definitely the way to go for us in this property. So that is why I'm so excited about this. I am working on my bay's nap schedule so it may not all get done today, but I'll take you through the whole process no matter how long it takes. I wanna thank today's video sponsor, A. Tumen. They did send me this garden bed to show you all how to set it up. So let's get right to unboxing and opening this garden bed. Okay, so this is about what all of the wood pieces look like before I put them together. I'm not gonna lie, I am a beginner wood worker person. So this looks complicated to me, but I have faith that the instructions will be easy. Comes with all of the hardware needed and this instruction manual, which I will be following. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because the color of the plates are just like our wood deck, but I organize everything by shape. So this makes it a lot easier to find at least what I need to find. Slightly less intimidating than it was before. Okay, just started the assembly and so far it's really easy. I also noticed that the company has labeled some of these wood pieces for us. Actually, all of them are labeled, which makes things so much easier for somebody like me who just could use a label every now and then. So thank you Avatuvin for the wood labels. Usually my husband who does the power drill work around here but he could not do it today so I'm doing it. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Okay, I had some minor issues getting these side panels slid into the side legs. There's a little slot that you just slide them in and most of them slid just fine, but one side seemed like it wasn't cut out enough, but I was able to shimmy it back and forth enough times to get it in, but it took me a little while. But so far in general, it's going really well. As expected, I do have Allison joining me now. If you are watching this and you are assembling the same thing I am, just be aware of which screws are going into which holes. There's several holes on the side panels and I messed that up and had to fix it, which was fine, but just pay attention really closely to the diagram. Okay, so the only part of the project I haven't loved so far is putting these bottom parts on. And that's only because there's no definitive place where to put them. So I have to get them straight and evenly spaced. So there's room for error. So we'll see how well I do. This is the inner lining for the garden bed. This is some kind of liner that I guess will help with any dirt or water dripping 
from the garden. This looks like it is a divider for different garden beds, different garden slots rather. power drill for this part because there's not enough space to get in there so I think I have to use a manual handheld drill just finished building this garden bed. I would say it was easy. The instructions say approximately 30 minutes of time for a two person job. And I would say that's pretty close to accurate. I think I spent an hour on this, but in mom time, because I have a baby, it took me an afternoon. So that's really not that bad. If I can get something done in one day, that's what I like because I don't like when projects take days and days and they just sit overnight. So I got this done in one day. You could probably do it in 30 minutes if you had a second person and no interruptions. But I would say it was very easy. So now I'm gonna take you along as I fill this garden bed up for spring. Okay, so I got a nice selection of perennials because I want these to come back. I got a couple Black Eyed Susans and these should be these really pretty yellow and black flowers. So two of those. And then I got the blue rock seed. These are a really delicate, pretty blue flower. Two small ones and one large one of those. This is called the Clementine Red Columbine. I'm not super familiar with this one, but it is nice and tall and I wanted it just to have the depth and the change of height. So I got two of these. I got a Santa Fe Coropsis. I think that's how you say it. I got two of these. I like the yellow and I like the grassy texture. Again, I wanted to get just a variety of textures and colors. And then I got four of these. These are called Glitz, and I think they're so pretty and delicate with the white. I really like that delicate flower look. So let's get to arranging these. And these are pink. So these are the only pink ones we have. I'm gonna put them in the back. These are gonna be the yellow and black. I'm also gonna move these to the back. So we're gonna put, maybe I'll put the yellow, kind of all, the white all around the yellow. So there's this nice shelf liner here that helps divide the dirt from the wood. And I'm just gonna put a layer of rocks on the bottom so that it helps with drainage. <laughs> Beautiful setup here of uh, perennials, some flowers, things that aren't blooming yet, things that will bloom this summer. Mostly blue, white, yellow, a little bit of pink, and everything's looking really good. Need to get a little more dirt in here to fill this up, but it's pretty much done. Okay, 
as you can tell, garden bed is finally finished. I just added a few finishing touches, like cleaned up the floor a little bit, added these vases on the bottom, and a small vase with some dried flowers I already had over here, along with the watering can. I have everything I need here now to maintain this beautiful flower bed throughout spring and summer. I will have a full blog post written up about how to create a garden bed. More details on there. I'll also update that blog at the end of the summer when I see how these are all going to bloom because right now they haven't bloomed yet. I want to thank Avatubin for sponsoring this post. Avatubin is a family run business that has rabbit hutches, chicken coops, animal enclosures, they even have catios, patio for your cat, and then of course they have some garden beds. Everything you can find on their website comes with these easy to assemble instructions. If a beginner like myself could do it, then you could too. So I wanted to show you how to put this together for your porch or your home, wherever you are. If you just wanted to bring some garden feel and flowers to your property this spring and summer. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Each week I post a new video on farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.